time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Test it, trade it, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live, Friday, August 25th. About five minutes until tranche one. Looks like we're going to get a nice strangle, but could have been even wider had it not been for this massive rally. Back up near highs of day. After a sell-off to the downside expected move, pushing up towards the upside expected move. So right now it looks like it'd be the 4415 calls, 4405 puts. But I'll give it a few minutes. I actually I need to buy some longs here. I made a big mistake on my quiet lunch. I forgot to reduce my stop. So instead of booking a profit on the second half, getting stopped out for a profit on the second half, I ended up losing a couple hundred bucks on the trade because I got stopped out with the, uh, with the original stop. So not what I like to do. Just completely forgot about reducing my stop. Let's see who we got here today. Alan Campbell, Alex, Andrew K, Dan B, Dick K, Elliot, I am met Bal. Someone on an iPhone. Someone on an iPhone 11 Pro Max. JB, Kelvin, Ken, Ken's iPad, Klaz, Krish, Kylio, Lewis, Morrow, Michael G, Michael Todd, Mirage, MRP, Amono, Ryan P, Stephen Pierce, Tevis, Trader AL, Yizzer. Yizzer. If I'm saying that right. Welcome, everyone. No pH today for tomorrow. Is that a Friday thing? Is it the price movement thing? What's going on there? Bedtime thing. Got it. <laughs> S&P up 34. NASDAQ up 120. Russell up 13. Dow up 300. NVIDIA still down 2.5%. VIX down eight and a half percent. All right, looking like Another minute.
44 15 44 05 trying to get filled at 8 20. It's running away from me. How about eight even? Filled at eight even for tranche one. 4415 calls, 4405 puts. Yeah, that VXX trade is coming back in, isn't it? With the vol contraction. It's got to get down below 24. I'm going to already closed out half. So I'm going to, I'm going to just hold. I mean, if this volatility contraction continues into next week, try to milk a little bit more out of it. I will be putting on a 6-7 and a 3-5 DTE double calendar before the end of day. I am in the 15s, 05s, correct? Quite a bounce today. Hey, Stephen Pierce, the, uh, please use the zero live chat channel in Discord. Uh, question was, did you buy or sell the spread? Are you talking about for power hour? It's a, it's a sell, selling. Yeah, please use zero live chat channel in Discord, not the not the Zoom chat. Yeah, so I buy the longs uh, before, and then I, when I enter, I, I sell the, uh, sold the forty four fifteen calls, forty four oh five puts. If you are trying to figure out what we're doing, make sure you check out the um, zero DTE course channel. That'll kind of give you. Better idea, essentially sold an iron condor. But because of the way that I manage my OCO, I mean, most likely the longs will end up just expiring worthless. So I just buy the longs first, just for that margin relief. And then just go in and buy the shorts. Uh, and my OCO is set up with the, um, with the, with the uh, limits to get out and the, and the stop loss as well. But it's just on the shorts. SPX still pushing. So for power hour, going back to Stephen Pierce's question. So 
yeah, we're trying to we're trying to take advantage of that rapid theta decay towards the end of the day. And price used to at least calm down at the end of the day and just kind of chop around. Although we've seen some decent sized moves at the end of the day this month. We've got about a week left in August. You never know. We could, you know, hit a four or five day win streak and end the month strong. You just never know. VIX down 9%. VIX gave back nearly everything it pumped into the market yesterday. Jay Pow just sucked it out with his with his uh, Jackson Hole speech, I guess. Although it looked a little dicey to begin with, but then, man, this rally right at 10 a.m. Central Decided to go the other way. So, Tevis, did they say that they are transitioning you before 2024 and that you have access to TOS? SPX pushing up against the upside expected move for the day. High new highs of day in SPX. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, well, that's good. That was uh, the opposite of what I was told. <laughs> that's <laughs> there's a very good chance of that, Tivas. Just go to bed tomorrow. I'll I'll ring you. I'll yell really loud. Just just leave the recording on. Get in bed. Get tucked in. If anything crazy happens, I'll just start yelling. Push down now. No, nah, we're not going to need to adjust the fly today. We're not going that high. Uh, if if volatility is expanding, you know the butterflies will be theoretically a little bit cheaper, but that's not a that's not critical. I mean, I got in today anticipating continuation lower. So 
So those time flies are pretty, uh, pretty versatile. You can, you can pretty much enter those anytime you want. Beginner luck. It's one of my favorite movies as a kid. My older brother, he was into karate. <laughs> he really loved that movie. He thought he was Danielson there for a couple of years, I think. I mean, you, you just cannot defend the crane kick. It's indefensible. Ask Johnny. Ask Johnny about that. <laughs> yeah, that's... that's uh... That that would be that would that could be a deal breaker, Wuga. Put him in a body bag, Johnny. All right, hanging around center. Pretty light day of trading today. I did put on a TGIF. It's down a little bit with this up move since I put it on. Like I said, I'll be putting on a uh, six, seven. Right around tranche two time. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and get my 6-7 on before tranche 2 here.
go. I right, just posted my six, seven in the calendar channel, 25 Delta. Then I'll put on a three, five closer to the end of day. All right, tranche numero dos. Buying my longs for tranche two. Yeah, I think I'll do a three seven also towards the end of the day. For tranche two, looks like the 4420, 4405, so maybe 15 wide, possibly. All right, give it a little minute, another minute here. See where, see where we end up. We could do the 4415, 4405. Price moves down a little bit. Where's it going to land? 44.20 or 44.15? It's decision time. Forty four twenty, forty four oh five.
trying to get filled at 460. Filled at 465. On the 4420s, 4405s. So tranche one, I got in at eight even. So I'm looking for $4.80 to get out of, or to uh, move my stop on tranche one. And tranche one is currently trading at about 630. A little bounce in SPX. Krish, did you learn how to use the analyze screen yet in TOS? I need proof. I need a screenshot from you. Not going home today without a screenshot. You know when you were little and your parents made you eat, their, eat your vegetables before you got it from the table? That's what we're doing here. You got, you've got to eat your broccoli before you leave today. No comment. <laughs> Chris muted me. Ooh, I'm with you on that, Boomer. Not a fan of peas. I love broccoli. Not a fan of the peas. That was always the worst. <laughs> Chris will be on in a minute. What are you guys talking about? All right, still chopping around center.
Toronto one down to 590. 580. Looking for 480. So another buck out of tranche one. I'll be able to reduce stop. What's everybody doing this weekend? I've got uh, baseball practice, fall baseball practice, Saturday morning. And I think that's about all I got on the agenda. Do some farming, do some tractoring around maybe. Beach and soccer, golf. Little tennis. Nice. A little yard work. A little hiking. It's finally supposed to cool down a little bit tomorrow, so that'll be nice. Ninety-seven today feels like one eleven. Tomorrow, though, only a high of eighty-five. Sunday, high of eighty-one. Low eighties all next week and sunny. That'd be nice. Trader Bianca chipping wood. Interesting. Didn't realize you were into chipping wood, Bianca. You have a wood chipper or you do that by hand? <laughs> Big wood chipper. Oh, okay, nice. Thank you, Wooga. Thank you for bringing me back to the reason we are here. Tranche three needs some longs. Got my longs for tranche three. Closest to two bucks on the call side. It's kind of right between 25s and 20s. It looks like the 25s. 4410 on the put side. SPX pushing back up towards highs of day. Kind of right on right in between here. Looks like the twenty five tens. Twenty five tens, fifteen wide. I'm going to get filled at 315. Filled at 315 for tranche three. Four 
44, 25 calls, 44, 10 puts. Follow the plan, Atan Ra. That is the correct answer. SPX trying to tick up to new highs. Nice, Wooga. So what time did you end up getting in that? And it was were you able to structure it so it had at least 30% to the upside? So between 44.15 and 44.10 is the sweet spot for my positions. Rick's got a lot of room on his train. He's, uh, he's pretty open. He's pretty open for everyone. S and P up forty, Nasdaq up one hundred and fifty, Dow up three hundred. Did not see that coming after the way the day started.
About 30 minutes till the bell. Price right back down to center. Oh, this time I needed four four eighty. Yeah. Oh boy. Thank you. Thank you. So I'll move it to seven eighty. All right, feels good to lock in a little bit. VIX down a cool 10%. Back down under 1550. VXX approaching that $24 area, which is about right at about 50% of max profit if you didn't get out the first round. I wonder where I closed half. Now we wait. We watch and we wait. We watch and we wait.
Yeah, so if there's anybody new here or anybody has questions, now is the time. Could be power hour related. Could be something else. Open, open mic. By the way, for Trader Sync users, I did get a response that said the grouping issue has been fixed. Um, I haven't, I haven't looked at it yet. So whenever I upload my trades after the end of the day, I'll confirm that. But from what my man Pedro says, it uh, should be fixed. Yep, I'm going to do a 3.5 and a 3.7. Brett was pumped to consider you putting notes in TOS for T13. Best way to see, I guess I'm not following Brett, oh, for, for the power hour trades. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not something I post. You can, if you're looking at my screen, you can, you can see what I'm in. Um, tranche one was the 44.15 calls, 44.05 puts. Tranche two was the 4420 calls, 4405 puts. And tranche three was the 4425 calls, 4410 puts. So if you check out the, uh, the trade plans channel, mm -hmm. kind of details exactly how I trade power hour. Looking for $4 of credit on tranche one, $3 of credit on tranche two. Two, $2 of credit on tranche three. SPX coming down a little bit. Yeah, but there's, Brett, there's really no value in me posting my trades. I mean, you, you've, you've really got to learn to do it. You know, there's, it moves too fast to try to copy or anything like that anyway. So it's really just closest premium at that time that I, that I enter to $4, $3, $2 on tranche one, two, and three. It's right here between 44.10 and So for the three seven and three five, really the later in the day tests better. But I'll be putting them on so it doesn't interfere with my 
power hour exits. Put on my three five first. I just posted my three five in the calendar channel. It looks, it appears nice and wide, Ryan. If you stretch it out on your screen like I do. Gives you a nice sense of security, doesn't it? Until you do this. <laughs> or until Mr. SPX gets a wild hair up its arse. Starts going to town. No, it's a nice 10, 15 wide strangles. That's always that's always welcome. Dick, look what you're doing. You're creating some mini, mini dicks. Some mini dick monsters. <laughs> that may be the only time you're proud to be called that, Ken.
All right, all right. Enough of the dick jokes. It's my reminder. There's only one big dick. Oh, yeah. This appears like a take it to the bell kind of day, don't you think, Elliot? All right, I'm going to go ahead and get in my 3.7 here so I can focus on power hour. I just posted my three seven.
Okay, we need a bounce here, boys and girls. Stopped on tranche three. Still alive for tranche one and two. I need to stay above 4405. Four minutes till I exit. Gonna need a little bounce here in the next few minutes. There you go, get on up there. Get on up. Get on up a little more. Two more points. Two minutes till I exit. Tried to bounce coming back down now. Can we get a last minute bounce? Doesn't act like he wants to bounce for us. Thirty seconds till I exit. Put tranche two at, let's try three, 310 if we can get a bounce. Filled at 310 on tranche two.
there's a bounce. About a buck fifty five for tranche one. There's a nice bounce. Filled it a buck forty, buck thirty five for tranche one. Very nice. So tranche three was a casualty, but nice winners for, well, let's see, for tranche two. Got in at 465 out at 310. So small winner for tranche two. Nice winner for tranche one. Overall winner. I'll take it to go into the weekend. All right, my friends. Have a good weekend. Uh, I'll be streaming live for the Open on Monday and for Power Hour on Monday as well. All right, guys and gals, have a good weekend. Talk to you soon.